my YouTube channel. Yeah. So we have a few days down to Christmas celebrations. It's a good feeling, but um, while at it, we should learn how to what, spend wisely because January is coming. So it's a season of love. It's a season of you know reflecting on what we've gone through from January to this time, you know, season of being grateful to God, you know. So many people plan to be to be alive to this time, you know. So I know somebody who has already planned this Christmas, like bought everything, but it's not the guy is not here today, as in to see how the Christmas turns out. So being being alive is the greatest gift. So whatever we have, we shouldn't just um um, take that for granted. We should eat in love, share in love. You know, this is the time for us to all reach out. Whoever you give a cup of rice this season, you don't know what we have done for that person. As in, we we in this country, we are, we understand what I'm saying. You know, giving somebody a cup of rice is such a big deal. So we shouldn't relax. We should spread the love. We should give help to those that really need help. You know, so we shouldn't spend unnecessarily because. January is coming. We have school school fees to be paid. We have uh, things to do with money. So I know we are all happy, jolly forgetting and all of that, enjoying. But we should be what prudent in our spending because it's not the way it used to be. Or oh, thank God for life. So I want us to like reach out to people who don't have what to even eat for this Christmas. You know, even though it's just a kilo of meat or chicken or whatever, whatever, no matter how small. We don't know how far that will go in the lives of others. So we shouldn't um, um, be stingy in this period. It's a period of sharing, loving, and um, um, eating and all of that. <laughs> so that's it. So I want us to understand that, that the, it's not compulsory for us to travel. You know, there's no way it is written that every Christmas one has to travel. So if it's not convenient for us to travel, we we'll stay where you are and celebrate the Christmas in good faith. Celebrate it in happiness and love. You know, it's not about unzobu, unzobu. we must travel, you must travel. When you know you ask the Holy Spirit, am I to embark on this journey? So because of the hustling and puzzling, the, the pressure is too much, we need to what? seek the face of God before we travel. You know, everything, everything we, we have labeled from January to December, we, we, we don't need to finish it in the month of December as in all the name of Christmas celebration. Yeah, it is a good thing that our Lord was born in this Christmas. It's a good feeling for us to eat, look good, and also spread the love. But we should have it at the back of our mind that January is coming. Yeah, so I want us to understand that in this season of Christmas, is a time for what? For us to forgive one another. Yes, you know, as in forgive one another because we cannot be um, feasting and feasting and we're carrying grudges in our hearts. It doesn't make sense. So I want us to understand that this season is a season of what? Showing love, as in for us to be, for us to feel love and also spread love. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, share, and contribute in the comment section concerning this topic. Yeah, gracias.